this is the second video in a series on the fundamentals of violin and today's video we are going to look at actually how to hold the violin so a couple of things we need to know is that we want to be sitting up straight as we're doing this so our back is up usually if we're sitting down like I am we are going to be sitting on the edge of our seat to give us a little bit more uh, strength to actually set up straight excuse me this is a common method that I see a lot of people actually teach others with learning how to hold the violin and it's called the Statue of Liberty. So the first thing we do is we lift our violin all the way up to the top and we take it to the side like this, we turn it and then we just slide in. Let me show you again. Take it to the top, all the way to the side, turn it and then it comes slides right in. And the reason why it's called the Statue of Liberty is because when you bring your violin up to the top like that, it becomes like a torch. So it's like you're holding a torch, the violin. Okay? And that is how you hold the violin. Most people need to have what's called a shoulder rest when they're first learning how to play, specifically younger kids. And that is because you need to have that gap right there. You don't want to be leaning too far over and you don't want to be leaning this far over. Otherwise, you're... you're alignment of your neck and the violin is not going to be in correct position. So you want to make sure you're in alignment. When you come up here like this, you're going to change to be just lying right in the shoulder wrist. If you're lying like this, you're lying too far over. If you're lying like this, you're lying too much that way. So you're just the side of your chin and the side of your jaw should be in the chin rest right here. And you should be able to hold it up without hardly any movement, without any strain. Okay, and that is how you hold a violin.